can online dating work? The first thing I want to say is this is just the positive stuff. All this scamming and everything else on different videos. Um, but I just want to talk from experience and knowledge and knowing lots of people that have actually become happily married by meeting people online. It's not something that happens straight away because you might meet 400 women online and eventually you fritter it down to about five people that you talk to on a regular basis and it could be 18 months by the, you know from when you decide to go online to you actually got your three to five women that you're talking to you'll find different things about different people that sort of click because that, that's the thing about people is there's different things that attract people to different people so somebody may be stunningly beautiful, another person may have a great personality, somebody may be very funny, but you'll end up with a few people with different things that sort of click with you. And over a period of time, things develop. And this is why I say, don't rush anything. I know a lot of people just go, okay, I'm going to go. I've met this woman online two weeks ago. I'm going to go and marry her. Stop. <laughs> don't rush anything. Take your time and learn about the person. And the other side of this is let them learn about you. Because a lot of the stuff that people believe is the West is based on Hollywood. Sounds completely bizarre with all the technology we have these days, but it's still very, very true. The Western are being rich, the big car, big house, all this sort of stuff. And don't let it intimidate you either, because you got to bear in mind, most of the women are coming from a humble background in the first place. And if she wants a big house, big car, etc., she's probably not worth the, the time of day anyway, because she's going to be on your back, wanting everything all the time, not worth the hassle. But a genuine woman will actually have several key things that will have a positive outcome. First one is, I found several guys have actually changed their perspective. Um, I've mentioned Paul before from Thailand that didn't work before, etc. And he ended up working full time, got a job, everything. Brought his wife to the UK, got a nice house in the UK, built a restaurant in Thailand. They are very happily married. And I know several of my friends that have changed their perspective with foreign women <laughs> um, because with the western women they've sort of grown tired of them to be honest they, they've grown tired of the drunken falling down woman in the UK that often bites with her mouth and quite simply they were quite happy to stay, stay single um, now I'm not saying all women in the UK were like that, but I'm saying the guys have got tired of it to the point they're no longer interested. Um, some have got burned financially, so ain't going to do it again. Others, they are living with their parents and stuff already and decided to just stay there long term because great to have your laundry done and dinner on the table every day. So they're in a little bubble. Doesn't matter which one. They, they're all in the bubble where they're happy being single. What changed when they met women from Poland, Russia, Philippines, etc., is they firstly they had a very, very attractive woman that they had a connection with. You know, because for them th these women were like model material. In the UK they may not even get a second glance from a woman of a similar look should we say um, nothing wrong with that you know at the end of the day we're all supposed to look like Ronaldo and be as you know have a six pack at the same time be manly and feminine at the same time so we won't go into that but the the point is that these guys are sort of like said I can't be bothered with this but then they meet these women these women that are from a more traditional lifestyle, they're wanting strong men. Now these men ain't aren't weak guys. They're just sort of like I've had enough. I just can't be bothered with all this nonsense in the UK because I can't. 
Um, I mean, the US has got the same problem because a lot of the problem is women can't decide what they want. So in turn, the guys are like, "Well, do you want a guy that's like this or that?" And they just say, oh, "Forget it." You know, the. I mean, these guys just want a normal life, or should we say, what used to be a normal life. So when they meet these women, the traditional women, so they've now met somebody that's stunningly beautiful. They've met somebody that is interested in them, proud of them, respects them, etc. And they want to reflect that back. They want to show their new partner that they can provide, they can be the best husband possible, they can be everything the woman wants. And the women aren't looking to change them most of the time. As I said, most of the time. The women are just looking for a good, reliable guy, etc. So it kickstarted them, you know, from being in this bubble of living with their parents or living um, singly, you know, so they're, they're going to work, going back to their flat, and pretty much doing nothing except playing video games or something, into having a real social relationship. So there is a lot of positives out of this and I think the the mixed cultures is one of the key elements because if you've got uh, traditional guys should we say and then you've got traditional women from other cultures then there's often a good bond there and you'll see a lot of the negativity online about oh this this guy was ripped off by this woman and this uh, Yes, you do, but nobody talks about the thousands of happy marriages. Nobody talks about the fact that most of these guys are happily married. Even the guys that are often unhappy and divorced or ripped off, whatever, will most of the time go back and find another partner. That says a lot about it already. You know, the fact is that they can see that they can have a better relationship with a complete stranger than people in their own town because they can connect with them the online stuff like I said learn about each other online you start to get a picture of each other and understanding each other and from that you can start to understand if this person will connect with you or not and like I said you know some of these guys, guys have like three, five women they're chatting to on a regular basis until they actually say, okay, this is the one. And sometimes they'll even travel to the Philippines or wherever it is and will meet all those, all five, all three, two, whatever, and go, okay, well, yes or no, you know, are we compatible or not? And too many times people will agree to get married the same day. <laughs> So, yeah, I think it works. And I know a lot of people will go, oh, yeah, but there's so many scammers. Yes, there is. But at the same time, there's nothing that says you have to rush. And also the, the curiosity of meeting people online and having like three, four hundred women contacting you may actually drive you to make a big change and actually hop on a plane and change your whole perspective on life and meet the woman that is your soulmate which you may not have done if you weren't communicating with the people in the first place. Let me know what you think.